Stop that. <laughs> the hospital chicken. Could be supper. So where are we going, Lois? Right now we're going in the back way to the theater. Well, Lois is the administrator here at the hospital, as well as an ER nurse. No, surgical nurse, sorry. I didn't want to insult you. Oh, it's not an insult. I don't, I don't take insults very easily. <laughs> I don't find them. You want me inside here? Oh so, yeah, Lois is going to give us a tour. This is the theater. This, this is not a movie. You again. This is not a movie theater. This is a operating theater. I can see the guy doing the... He's in there working. Oh, that's right. We have to take our shoes off to come in here. Oh. No, we'll take our shoes off. Okay, so we're going inside the theater. And uh, so there's your operating room table. Lois can describe stuff if she wants. No, you're doing a good job. Yeah. Nice shiny walls, so they're easy to clean. Oop, I think I walked in your way. Now, where is. Oh, that looks like it's uh, the gas for... Suction machine. Oh, that's a suction machine. Oh, cool. Oxygen. Wow. <laughs> Operating room lights. Yeah. And uh, air. Air conditioning. No, that's not air conditioning. Oh, you have air conditioning. Wow. If anyone would like to donate a brand new operating table, they would accept it. Oh, this engine thing is good. I mean, it winds everywhere. <laughs> Amazing. You have to crank it, though. You can't just push buttons. No. Yeah. Good tile floor, easy to clean up. Okay, tell me what this this stuff is. What is this place? This is our cleaning and sterilizing room. Okay. Is that an old autoclave down there? Huge, huge, huge. They don't use that. They don't use that anymore. Oh, we oh, do. Use, oh, oh, you that's, that's, that's state of the art. That's what you use that's for sterilizing steam, I guess. Yes. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> that was probably around when Dave's dad was. Oh yeah, because I've had this since I opened the hospital. Yeah. In people have to realize that so this is going. this is what they have and this is what they use, and people's lives are saved. And this is one of the best yeah. hospitals in the state, right? Well, around, yeah, definitely private ones. Yeah. Wow. But we don't okay. say that out loud. Oh, we don't say okay. That that which shall not be spoken. Our changing room and our scrub room. Oh wow. Okay. With no running water. You With pour no running water. And they have to bring it in buckets. Okay, so water is brought in by buckets because the tap doesn't work. And, uh, and it's hard to see, but there's a drain down there somewhere. Wow. So where are we going to now, Lois? Well, this is our maternity and delivery room, but they're renovating it, so if you want Oh, okay. So this is maternity. Oh, they're the walls. they're repainting, and there's there's my favorite painter. Hello, oh, Dudu. Oh, can't focus on him. There we go. How are you? Fine. I like the color. What's it going to be? It's oh, yeah, it is the color. Pink, it's pink, and then you're yeah. just going to do that same brown that's in the other the male one. Okay. So right now they're just renovating, but normally there's uh, like you can see there's I think six beds in here. And uh, so where are the mums now that they're not in here? In the mail ward. Oh, they put them in the mail ward. The mail ward. Oh, okay. This is labor and delivery. Okay, so this is labor intensive. <laughs> Different kind of labor. Over there is <laughs> labor room. You can ask my you can ask my granddaughter Julia about what a labor like what a labor is. She'll tell you it's quite hilarious. So. So, yeah, it's too bad it wasn't 
I was hoping to get the actual labor thing going on, but we didn't. <laughs> They're discussing about how they can reuse repair, this, repair, repair this door. door, which by all rights should be thrown out, but um, right here you cannot throw things out. There's too many, too many needs. So what is this room? This is where the patients store their... Oh, their food. Because they have to yeah. move in with their, practically their sheep and their goats and their chickens and their... Are you serious? Walker and their cooking, old cooking utensils. And something. their children. And their children. And they come here for the week or for a couple of days and... For a couple of days, yes. And they hang out. They have to have surgery there here for a few more days. What? Right. In there? And if he if he need kusha, hmm? if boss need kusha, then you can get it for him. Okay. So what? This is where we have for maternity now. Okay. This is the male ward. This is a private room? Well, it is normally a male private room, but we've got all of our labor and delivery. Oh, I see. Paraphernalia okay. here for now. A little bassinet for the baby when the baby's born? Is that yes. what that is? Yeah. Okay. Until they go out to their mother. And so this is where the baby's delivered, right on that table? Yes. yes. Okay. A little scale to see how much that little baby weighs. Wow. Okay. So this is the male ward. Yes. And uh, you see the stands for the IVs and so on. These poor people are stuck here for a few days until they get better. What would be the predominant thing, Lois, that, that uh, people would be in for? Is it malaria? A lot of it is malaria. Yeah. Malaria and chest infection of one kind or another. Right. Okay. Yeah. So start talking. You're supposed to be talking to them. Like <laughs> oh, when the patients come, they, they have somebody come with them and they have to do all their cooking and their washing of clothes and everything, so that's one of the kitchens. So you don't supply hospital food then? No. No. We can't complain about hospital food here. <laughs> Female ward, the sign is actually correct. That's correct. That is so this is the ward. female ward. And then we have a chapel in the middle. So all these buildings here are TB wards that we're looking at here. Individual rooms for the TB patients. Yeah. And uh, you said how many again? How many, how many TB? Different wards, there's about seven. Yeah, seven. Some of them have 10 rooms, some have 12. That's 10. Good morning, how's this? So, pediatrics and female ward here. The uh, cleaning the crew doing her sweeping. Cleaning crew doing their, their job. So, this is pediatrics on this side, and further up there would be the female ward. <laughs> this is the waiting room here? Yes. People bring their peanuts and biscuits and drinks and everything to sell. 
peanuts right there. So, this is our nice comfortable waiting area. And there's no offices in the back. It's got air conditioning as you can see. <laughs> and the billing office right there. Yes, they actually do have to pay. And they get piped in beautiful Christian music up there. When the generator is working. <laughs> you can see that one thing up there, that's good. You see the card room. Whoa. Oh, they haven't even got your shelves up there yet. They're pretty rough. These are additions to the shelving for the card room that we built. They're really rough, but they needed something, and they were using what we had around. I'm not sure why the motorcycle's in the waiting room. <laughs> it's waiting for its ride. <laughs> but they're high-tech filing system right here, and uh, they know where everything is. And of course, you can bring your you can bring your child here. It's your assistant. This is the uh, administrative assistant for the car uh, for the uh, records person. Cashier. So this is the dispensary. Because yeah. So you can come to the lab here, which is right on site. How long does it take to get your results, usually? Get them the same day, most of them. Yeah, you see, in Canada, we have to wait for a week, so. They're very impatient if they have to wait. This is definitely much more efficient than we have <laughs> back home. <laughs> Walking into the lab. They. Oh, hmm? Jerry, Jerry drew that. This is where they, they take like blood. Outside. You sit in this oh, chair, yeah, they put a cuff on you, and check you over. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Put your coat on, put your coat on, dear. Oh, yes, put your coat on. He's in charge of the lab. He's in charge of the lab. Yes. Back there, sit down. Okay. Yes. Jerry, I told you all guys. Oh. That means you. <laughs> this is the uh, gentleman in charge of the lab. Yes. And, uh, I'm just taking a video, so maybe you'd like okay, to okay. introduce yourself to me. Um, Jeremiah. Jeremiah? Yes. He's the lab tech here in the uh, hospital. Now we're going into one of the testing areas where they actually take the sample and uh, check under micro microscopes and so on. And this is Ben's. This should come to my office when I come back. This can go in the store. This empty cartons. Not this store. You can go over here. So this is the this is the doctor's administrative parking here too, which uh, generally gets used as a waiting room for the lab. Yes, yeah, so that's waiting room for yeah. the lab there. Then as we approach the uh, AIDS clinic, this little building here where they educate people. I kind of like their sign. Heart to heart care. This is uh, actually Niger this is funded by the government too, right? Um, the, the, Lois, the, the um, AIDS program. Yes, the program. AIDS program? Yes. Right. And it's a mess in there because I never cleaned it. It was used as a carpenter shop yesterday. Now, yesterday this was used as a carpenter shop. Rick was building cabinets and so on, so there is stuff around. But this is the waiting area. This is um, the AIDS educator's office. And uh, JJ's not here right now. He's the guy that does this. So how long would a counseling session usually be?
half an hour. Yeah. yeah. And they and meanwhile they're being tested next door. Is that right? No, the lab? we test them. We test them. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. How long does it take to get results back from an AIDS test here? Immediately. They sit here. They sit here and they find out right away. Wow, that's quick. So you're not waiting on pins and needles for three weeks. So if you live in Canada and we'd like to come out here, 